Welcome. I bid you welcome. This is John Clouser, Johnny Metal, the Metal Dad, coming to you from my music corner of the world. And today, I just want to give a quick little review on a couple of albums that I've just recently got. I have been wanting to do this for a little while. Um, this is going to be a little different from my um, my some of the reviews I've been doing uh, as of late. But um, a little different genre. But let me tell you about this little band from Minneapolis, from the Minnesota area called Impaler. Now, mid-80s band that came out. Uh, they just celebrated their 40th year uh, as a band. But for me, I remember going to, uh, when I lived up in Pennsylvania, I would go to the Lehigh Valley Mall. And I would always look for Iron Maiden 12-inch uh, singles. And so um, sometimes they have them in really good shape. Sometimes they were really beat up because they were most of those singles were usually like just paper, you know, and so they'd be all ripped up or they'd be all bent up or whatever. So, but, you know, around the Iron Maiden is the rock eye. And I kept seeing this really weird album cover by, by this band called Impaler this woman's arm draped over a coffin and the singers got this big hunk of liver or something hanging out of his mouth. He's all bloodied up and whatever. And it was this four song EP called rise of the mutants. And I've been wanting to kind of, I've been really kind of wanting to get this thinking, Oh my gosh, I might really irritate my mom if I got this one, but I eventually, did, and I kept putting it off, putting it off. And I eventually, I got it. And it's just a four song EP, two, two songs per side, only about eight minutes long. It's not really long at all. So very rough recording, very raw. Um, it was released on combat records. Um, and uh, it was, but it was just very raw, very, very raw. Like uh, just, they just went for it in a room and then, you know, there's a lot of feedback on the guitars and stuff like that. But um so for the 40th anniversary of this album, um, they recently came out with with this. I apologize for the uh, the glare, but um, this is the 40th anniversary uh, vinyl uh, edition. And um, this was released on Rare Bird Records. And I don't know where, how they got the, the recording for this. Because I have a CD of Rise of the Mutants somewhere in my mess. I just don't know exactly where. And you could tell it's a vinyl grab. Um, it's not, you know, it's it you could I'm not sure if the release I got was a was a was an official release or if it was a bootleg, but uh anyway, so you can tell it's you can tell it's a you can tell it's a, a vinyl grab, you know, and there's uh yeah, so the sound qualities, it's okay. It's not bad, but you know, you can hear it. But with this, you know, let me just show off the vinyl here. So um, so that's uh that's that's the vinyl, it's this blood splattered uh look. And there's also four uh bonus tracks uh, from a from an 83 demo. Um but let me talk about the album first. So um so Rise of the Mutants had four songs. Um it starts off with a very fast blazing track called Shock Rock, uh, only about a minute and 50 seconds long, very short. Um, then you go to Crack That Whip. And again, just a song that just, it's got this really catchy vibe and lyric sound. And I love the riff. I mean, the, even though the riff is so feedback drenched, it's it's just a cool riff, and a cool groove. I really dig it. Um uh, then uh, side two of it would kick off with the uh, with a song Impaler. Again, very driving song, very very pulsing, and just in your face, kind of a mix of maybe some punk rock, um, a little maybe touch of new album, uh, the new wave British heavy metal, uh, early metal stuff like that. Um, but man, great track. Uh, Heaven's Force ends it. Um, another four really great, really great songs, fun songs to listen to. But this vinyl version, man, I, I this new version, I have got to say, it is cleaned up so nice. It doesn't have that. It doesn't have so much of that feedback. The drums really sound good. 
The bass sounds good. Everything sounds fantastic on this album. Um, the uh, second side from the uh, 83 demo, which also, which doesn't have as much feedback. It doesn't have that really raw sound. This, this, but it sounds, it sounds like a really good, clean recording. Uh, a vicious dreams, Island of the damned, uh, who runs the asylum and breathing down your back Four great tracks right there. Um, you know, really solid album. Um, but, you know, as a lifelong, as someone who has listened to Rise of the Mutants since 1985, at least, you know, or 86, something like that, whenever it was, I got it. I'll tell you, I, I, I've, it's always been something I go back to now and then, you know, it's just, such, it's really that much of a fun album. Uh, they would come out with their first uh, full length album uh, in 1986, I believe. Um, and uh, again, I don't have the original uh, here to show. But uh, if if we had brains, we'd be dangerous. Um, and again, um, a little different cover. The, the original cover has has the singer on, um, you know, like a, um, a, a, a straight jacket and with blood kind of out, coming out of his mouth. But this album uh, produced by Bob Mould of Husker Du. And so... Again, uh, much more uh, polished sound. The drums here uh, at, on the original, I always felt sounded a little too, still too polished. They it's it it sounds a lot better on this on this new version. Um, not criticizing the old because I still like that. I still like that version. Again, the bass is more pronounced in this one. Um, the guitar again in the original had that raw feedback driven kind of feel about it which still gave impaler that rawness about it which I, I i always thought was so good uh bill Lindsay's voice is man he just spits out these these lyrics and just man just seething stuff really good really good album here bloodbath kicks it off great trap uh puppet master just in your face city and chains kind of uh kind of slows down a little bit um or no city no Wasteland's what slows down a little bit. You know, the Neva's nice uh, guitar, uh, acoustic guitar intro, and then it kind of slows down with a nice heavy riff. They do the Stooges, uh, Search and Destroy, Assassin, another in your face uh, song. Pretty much all this album is, is all in your face. Uh, Speed Thrills, Witch Queen, Dancing on the Edge, Metal Messiah. I mean, this is just a fantastic, fantastic full length album that they would come out with. Again, this these are these albums are just they sound so much better um again not criticizing the originals the originals sound sound good at, at on their own as well um and but to hear to hear it now the way whatever rare bird, rare bird did with these man my hats off to them i think they did a fantastic job so what do you have you what do you guys think about impaler you know i i'll have to be honest after this album after if we had brains, we'd be dangerous. I'll be honest, I didn't follow along with them quite as much. Uh, some of their stuff wasn't quite as easy to find in record stores. So um, I kind of fell away from them for a little while. So I got a little catching up to do. So I apologize for that, Bill. I'm gonna just say that right now. Um, but uh the great hereafter was their most recent studio album, and that was fabulous. Absolute fun album to listen to haven't missed a beat they just they still sound great after all these years uh again just like falling just just hanging out with a good friend is really what impaler's music's like i really enjoy it so i really need to catch up on their old uh their other albums that they've done because they've done a number of them so what do you guys think about impaler let me know in the comments like share subscribe this is johnny metal john clouser the metal dad coming to you from my music corner i hope you have a great day and we will see you soon.